Hi and hello, and I do hope that you're doing well and having a great holiday today. And um, what do I want to talk to you about today? It's one. It's about the fact that we have to um, prevent that path towards despondency or despair, where we actually begin to act like there is no more hope. You know, there is a situation where people can still say things and try to motivate themselves, but based off of their actions, you can actually see that their action is tending towards despair, a state of helplessness, hopelessness, you know, and um, just totally throwing in the towel, believing that um, things are not going to work well for them, for their community, for their country, or whatever the case is. Now, it's important for us to constantly make this sound or this caution so that people get to understand that it's in, they cannot afford to um, live their lives based off of the default. Everything that is of the default is going to drown. Everything that is of the default is going to go down. Now, I know that there is a difference between despair and delusion. Now, despair is you thinking or feeling or believing that things are not going to get better um, for whatever reasons. Delusion is when you can see indices, patterns that totally suggest to you that things are not getting well, but you believe in yourself that things are going to get better. Now, that is delusion. Now, we cannot afford to be at these two extreme ends, the end of delusion and the end of despair. So, what are we supposed to do and what is the position that we're supposed to take in this time? It is the position of superior strategy. What does that mean? It means that you cannot expect that which is external to help you in this time. What you need in this time is internal resolve, internal fortitude, internal providence. These are some of the things that are required to help you navigate these times. Now, how do I come up with certain examples? You cannot fully trust the government to help you in this time. The government should actually be your, should not be your last line of defense. I'll just put it that way. You cannot fully trust the government in this time for your livelihood. The government has been compromised. And I think it's important for people to get to understand that your government has been compromised so you cannot totally submit for your food for your clothing for your shelter for your security for your life you've got to put the laws in your own hands personal law and these are some of the things that i shared in personal policy and personal parliament it means that you have to begin to think and fend for yourself you need to begin to think in terms of personal economy what is your personal economy? How can you grow your personal economy? How can you sustain your personal economy? And that's where personal government comes into view. You have, you are the CEO of your life. You determine how profitable you're going to be. You determine whether you're going to get to destiny faster or slower. It's, it's your call, okay? And so some of the things and the positions you need to begin to think about and take in this time are position of how do you grow your economy? How do you grow your finance? How do you grow your security? How do you fend for yourself, your immediate environment, and the people that mean a lot of things to you? Um, a couple of years ago, I kept talking about the need for people to build certain structures. Now, these structures are in the land of building a safe house, building a storehouse, building a strong house. Now, when we're talking about the safe house, it has to do with security of your health and your mind. So when it comes to nutrition, hygiene, mental health, um, uh, making sure that you're not being led by vain philosophies and doctrines, that's the safe house. It is your responsibility to build that for yourself and for the people who you really do care about. The second is your storehouse. This is the place where you have the resources that ensures that you remain profitable and relevant. You've got bargaining power. Okay, you've got what it takes you know, to continue to survive and not just survive, but thrive. Okay, so the resources you need, human capital, investment, skill, buy grain. That's what buying grain is all about. It means that your focus in this season should not just be on the money, but should be on everything that is higher than money, but can be transferred with money. Why? Because we're going into the phase where we are getting global currency change. And so if all you're doing is preparing yourself to earn the current currency that we do have, when the next evolution of currency comes, I'm sorry, it's going to be survival of the fittest. And that means that those who do not have that currency in that time or anything to trade for it will actually be on the losing, losing side. It's going to be a sad morning when a lot of people wake up and understand that they don't have access to their banking accounts anymore because the whole banking system has evolved. It's like you're, you went to bed with a caterpillar and then you're waking up to a butterfly. 
and you cannot relate with the caterpillar with the butterfly because you build your whole life your whole economy your whole survival around the caterpillar okay you have to build a storehouse some sorts of reserves that you have that you can always leverage upon you know when you need finances or when you need cash or when you need capital or whatever so um then there is the strong house that is You've got to think politically. You've got to think like a military person. You cannot afford to think solely like a civilian in this age. You must think in terms of force, in terms of control, in terms of power. And these are things you need to study, master, unlearn, relearn, as the case may be, so that when that time does come, which comes shortly, um, you'll have all the will without to remain powerful and authoritative and relevant. Okay, so this is what I want to share with you today. You cannot afford to live life um, at the backside. You need to understand force. You need to understand power. You need to understand economy. You need to understand politics. And how can you use these things to your advantage? How can you use it to thrive, to, to outsmart the system and to ensure that you are at the forefront of innovation um, and development? Begin to ally with people who have resources, who have strategy, who have goodwill, okay, who has, have capital. And let's see how you can build an economic capital around that and you cannot do that if you don't even understand how the economy runs okay so that means that there's certain research that you've got to do about how how political structures and systems are built how economic structures and systems are built you know and all of that and see how you can use it personally the world is growing the world is evolving and a lot of people will be left behind not just by a spiritual rapture now but by an economic rapture the economic rapture is coming and now is and so it's something that you have to prepare for you know, uh, it's not going to be a respecter of people. It's going to be a respecter of, um, what's the word? Of image, of identity. Okay, so it's the reason why you need to begin to build up yourself now so that when that economic rapture does happen, you're not going to be left wondering what on earth just happened. Okay, so this is just a, um, a piece for you um, to set you back to the drawing board so that you can begin to think, re-strategize, rethink what your life should be. And the, the, the interesting thing is that not many people know what the future is going to look like. The future is still a surprise to a lot of people. And so it's important for us to uh, assume a certain posture that gives us that um, possibility to thrive even when that future dawns on us. I hope this really does make a lot of sense to you. Um, if it doesn't, it just means that there's still a lot of catching up um, that you need to do. If you've got any questions, um, I'm obviously more than um, happy to, to respond to whatever questions or concerns um, you might have. You might also want to go through some of the range um, playlist videos so that at least you can understand um, some of the things that I've actually been talking about. The future is going to be for the strong. The future is going to be for the swift. The future is going to be for the strategic. And so these are the qualities that you need to have in order to be able to thrive um, in this new season. I wish you all the best and I hope that um, faith, and luck, and strategy, and wisdom are on your side in this season. We'll see you again in the next podcast and in the next class. Ciao.